Got oh, another. Got one. That gorgeous smiley guys. What's going on guys? Bassin' up Moffat here at the Susquehanna River again. Got my good buddy Tanner with me today. We're gonna see if we can catch some smallies. Ticket last time was the Alabama rig. So we're gonna probably start chucking the Alabama rig, maybe some spinner bait, maybe fluke, maybe tubes. See what we can get them on. Stay tuned. It's bound to be a smasher. There you go, guy. First smallie of the day. Ooh, look at that one. A uh, 16 incher. That gorgeous smallie, guys. Woo, baby. Let that nice one go. sides of the bridge again well figure we better get y'all with a water temperature for today water temperature so far everywhere we've been around in this uh, part of the river has been right around mid 50s and perfect water temperatures for the Alabama rig here's one there's one go another chunky little small guys another about 16 incher probably nice fat one Let's let him go This one we had a little technical difficulties. The camera decided to uh, keep shutting off on me every couple minutes here, so this fish is kind of clipped up a little bit, but the rest are good. Oh man, big one. Of course that thing just dies. Well guys, camera just died on that one, but got a chunk here. That's probably about a three and a half, four pounder right there. Nice one, heck yeah. We got a gorgeous fish. Beautiful, beautiful smallie. Get quick measurement on her quick. She is, wow, she's over my, she's bigger than my dink board. Dink board tops out at 18 inches. She's hanging over that a little bit. She's probably 19. Calm down. There you go, that's that, that 19 inch small go. So a lot of these fish were coming off of more of the bridges or the bridge pylons that had structure on them. Structure could have been anything from wood to bigger rocks and like little depth changes and dips in the water where it got a little deeper by some of these. Those were definitely the more productive pylons. So those are kind of the things you want to look for. Got another. Got 
Got another. Another fat one, dude. He got all wrapped up in it. Another fat, chunky smallie. About a 19 incher again, probably. Got a nice spot on his tail there. That one, exactly 18. Another nice one. Sitting in there. I told you one was sitting there behind that dang wall. Hell yeah. There's one. There's one. I him with two hooks. Another fat two pounder. Nice one. Check him out. Let him go. And these fish move around, especially once the sun comes out this time of year. Really started noticing towards the end of the day, these fish more repositioned and were on the sunnier sides of the bridges and out in the open more. So as the day goes on and the sun comes out, that's one big thing you wanna look for and try to target instead of just under the bridges because if we would've kept just targeting under the bridges instead of out, we would've stopped catching fish. There's one. There's one. Big one. Here. It's like a three and a half, four. Look at that beautiful one, guys. Nice, beautiful flying. Check him out. Nice, nice smiley. I figured we should get some on this. They're liking that sun. That's, that's what it is. What? I said they're liking that sun. That's what it is. They want to be in that sun. That's why we didn't get no other bites off of that one. Alright, something's going on here. You were just tearing them. Yeah, and then nothing. Nothing on that hole. Keep us right this year's. Go right along that one again. And Ooh. There's one. Ooh. There's one. We got this one.
Well, not as big as I thought, but still, it keeps fighting like crazy. Another nice chunky one. That's a little fatty. Woo hoo! Yeah, baby. Nice one. Let her go. She was just off in the middle. Don't be afraid to do that either. Especially in deeper water. With all that sun on it. There's another. Man, that's a fat one. Chill, bro. Look at that fatty. Man, we're just laying into nice smallies today. That's a nice one. Freaking Bama Rig's just drilling them today. So here we go. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the heart, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Well guys, that's gonna about conclude it for this one on the river. Unfortunately, we couldn't get Tanner on any fish. I don't know what the problem was there, but I did end up catching a good many. Not quite as many as we did the week before, but still really good day and caught some solid fish. Can't ever complain catching a bunch of smallmouth. A lot of these fish were positioned in the sun and around the sun and on the sunnier sides of the bridge. Weren't getting quite as many along the bridge pylons as we did the week before, but still did catch a lot of fish and in this water degree temperature in the low to mid 50s that is typically when i'll throw the alabama rig so when the water's in those low to mid 50s alabama rig is a great bait to uh, target these fish on lakes and in rivers not just on the river here i do the same thing on the lake as well and anytime that bait starts cooling up it's usually around that water temperature range oh also if you guys want any extra alabama rig tips i did a whole video breaking down the alabama rig and when to throw it how to throw it retrieve style all that if you want to see that i will link that in the description down below so you can check that out but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button get entered into my giveaway we will be giving away a fishing reel once i hit a thousand subscribers we're not too too far away so please subscribe to the channel get entered into that and you can also get an extra entry if you leave a comment as well so either way we'll see you next thursday guys